Hey guys, it's Gordon Festin by Fungi. I'm out here in Napa and I found some beautiful bluets. So this is Clotosibe nuda, sometimes known as Lapista nuda. This is a sort of brown topped, purple gilled, saprobic mushroom that's growing here in the oak duff. And they tend to be under shrubs, at least the, the good ones. And because they're saprobic, I usually like to cut them off uh, without disturbing this, the base because the mycelium will continue to grow into the substrate here. You can, in theory, take the, the base of this mushroom, take it home and mix it into your own wood chips and, and stuff and, and culture your own bluets. Uh, or you can take a bunch of blown out bluets, toss them in the blender, and then mix that up with some sugar and a little bit of paper and then pour that over your own uh, substrate in your yard and you can get your own bluets. But these are a pretty decent edible mushroom. I like them a lot more when they're young and the caps are still sort of enrolled and really purple. Um, once they get a little bit older and kind of ratty around the edge, they don't taste as good. So it's sort of up to you as to what your, your preference is with eating them. Um, they culture them in Europe, uh, which is pretty cool, but I don't think we culture them here in America, but we could, and you can, if you do the steps I described you know, yourself. So get one more here. This is, a, this is a pretty big one. I'll just show you guys up close. So it has this brown, brown top, kind of purple edges, Nice purple gills. You can often find some sort of purple mycelium around the base of it. And you can tell the difference from Cortinarius because these don't have any webbing on them. And really that the type of habitat you're gonna find them in dictates that it's a bluet. Here in Oak Duff, uh, I find a lot of them. This is Clotosibe nuda, or the bluet mushroom. This is a Cortinarius, this is a Bluet. Bluets, Clotospe nuda, are edible. They grow sopropically in oak duff. Cortinarius is not edible. It has this webby cortina around the edge. And look at those gills. Cortinarius, Bluet, both purple gills. This one's edible, this one's not. Okay, I've got myself a blender full <clears throat> of Bluets and some water, sugar, and a paper towel. I'm gonna blend this whole thing and then I'm gonna go dump it in the backyard. So let's see if this actually works. <laughs> like blue it's soup all right pretty gross smelling but i'm gonna go dump this on the garden and whew, wow that really has a strong uh blue it smell which to me smells like freezer burned orange juice concentrate yummy so i tried inoculating this wood chip patch a couple years ago with blue it spawn and nothing happened so i've got a whole blender full of blue it smoothie here and I'm just gonna try pouring this all over this nice patch of wood chip beds and see if I can inoculate some bluet action. And I'm using bluets actually from California. Last time I did this, I used bluet spawn that was from North Carolina, I think. So I'm wondering if maybe inoculating with a local, local strain will help. We'll see.